Hello, St. Anthanasia students. It's your art teacher, Miss Smith. So I hope you guys have been having a good summer, doing all your assignments, of course, and catching up if you've missed some. Okay, so today's episode, we are going to talk about how you can make artwork out of materials that you have at home. This is just an example. Of course, I'm totally into hearts. Mm-hmm, and scrap paper that you can make into a greeting, you know, into a card or bookmark. Really nice colors. And these were just papers that I used, computer paper or maybe a heavier cardstock paper, whatever you have available, right? And how I made this was just nail polish. Mm-hmm, nail polish and water, that's all that it was. So whatever you have available to you, that's all. So, okay, great. And this I got from the dollar store. I think it was about a dollar. Yeah. And this was another one that's a dollar too. So, yeah. Again, whatever you have available. It does get a little strong in terms of the alcohol that's inside the nail polish. So you gotta have an open window got to first ask your parents if this is okay and have an adult with you to help you. And since we're kind of going through this anyways, it's always a good idea if possible to use a mask because you don't want to breathe in anything that can maybe, you know, not be, be a little strong. So it's not a bad idea to maybe use a mask. And because we're working with nail polish, your hands get kind of dirty. And it's nail polish, so it will stick to your nails, okay? So just remember that. Also, this is a really cool thing. I'm gonna show you how you can put it on fabric too. You can dip paper, you can dip it onto um, fabric, and then this is an embroidery hoop. I'm gonna show you, they usually use this for sewing, but you can also use it to display your artwork. Mm -hmm. You can get it for like a dollar at the dollar store or Michael's Crafts or Joanna's, yeah. Anyways, I just want you to show you, um, and now let's get started. Okay, great. So now I have, um, a, this is kind of a water basin I got. I got this from like the dollar store, and you can, some people use it to make dishes, to wash their dishes in. Some people use it to um, soak their feet in. You, you don't have to have this if you have an old plastic container that might be big enough for some paper like this size, and of course I make a heart or some, maybe some fabric, um, you know, whatever you have available, I would go for it. It will get paint and nail polish inside, so be mindful, and it's really a little bit hard to get out, so maybe a container that you don't really care about. So I put a little bit of water, I'd say about an inch of water, not too strong, okay, and yeah, let's see what we got. And um, I'm gonna drop, and then what I like to do is I open them, the nail polishes because I want them to be ready when I'm using them because I have to you have to work a little bit faster with this okay because I have a window open you're gonna hear all the noise in my neighborhood great some wonderful pigeons right by okay so the first thing we're gonna do I did cut out a heart, and this is a little bit more of a heavier paper, um, you know, cardstock or anything that's available. And it, even computer paper is fine. Don't worry about it. That'll work just as fine. All right, so let's see. I'm going to use some blue, and I'm going to drop it in, and it works pretty fast. Oh, yeah, have to keep it available. Ha, ha, ha. All right, some red. You don't have to splash it. I would just put a drop, but to save some. Oh, I like that orange. Mm -hmm. The pink is so nice. I do love that. Remember, have an open window. This is gets a little strong. Great, now I'm going to take my heart 
and I'm gonna just run it right through. Voila! We have an art heart with nail polish. And I'm gonna let it dry. And, okay, and one thing too, it gets a little gooky in there. Um, so what I like to do, which is kind of a, a little bit important in order for the next um, dunking that you do or next image that you try to make to be successful, I, I actually throw this out and, and I just put some new water in. I don't worry too much about washing it out. I just put some new water in. Okay, great. So now I'm going to try to dunk, which I showed you in that example, which was just fabric through an embroidery hoop. And I kind of use the embroidery hoop as a canvas once the fabric is in there. So if you like to sew or your fam one of your family members does and you have an embroidery hoop, great. They're like a dollar from like the dollar store. You just have to find out if your local dollar store carries them. Mine does. Okay, great. Again, you don't have to use an embroidery hoop. So I have two types of fabric. This is a cool fabric. It's like a silk organza. Something like when weddings, like a bride will have this on her dress. Um, this material is usually made out of a wedding dress, especially the veil part. And then I have just um, a very thicker um, fabric. So this is like a canvas that you would paint on and then stretch on and make up for your painting. So we're gonna test both of these and see how they work out. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put some colors down. Ooh, it's going everywhere. Okay, cool. Getting the red. Oh, boy, that was a lot of red. Okay, <laughs> something to be aware of. Getting the pink going. Ooh, pink. Yeah, let's try a little bit. Oh, the orange is lovely. I always love orange. And have fun, right? And if you don't have all these colors, don't worry about it. Use the colors you have. That's what makes this fun. Okay, so this is kind of a big piece of fabric, but let's just go for it. So I try to start from one end. Mm -hmm. Carry this through. Oh, okay, great. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I love that. So it didn't get the whole fabric, but it got part of it. Look how nice that is. Wow. So now I'm gonna go and let this dry. And the nice thing is, once this is dry a bit, I can do the other side. Ooh, like that a lot. All right, so let me get some fresh water now. Okay, great, welcome back. So here we go. So I'm gonna re-dip the other part of that fabric and concentrate on the part that didn't get much on there. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna put some blue. I feel like the blue didn't work out too, it wasn't as strong on the, the last time. So let's try a little, I've got two blues, so let's try to see. Uh -huh. Some red would be good. Amps. Oop. Okay. This does get a little messy, so just be mindful. Poop. Drop. Poop. Great. Super. All right. Let's do this part, the bottom part. Dippity doos. I got nothing to lose. Oh, that is nice. You see, I got more there. Ooh, let me try to show you. See? Hmm, oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Great, I'm gonna let it dry. Great. So this was the fabric that we did and it dried and then I just kind of put it through an embroidery hoop. And as I mentioned, an embroidery hoop is a hoop that you usually use to sew with. So you may have one 
Um, and if you don't, don't worry about it. It's just an idea. Kind of, kind of when it's finished, you can kind of hang it on the wall like it's an artwork, like it's a painting. And it's really just nail polish. So I'll show you what I did. It's really simple. So my embroidery hoop, I just kind of open it like that. Again, have an adult help you. And I have that part there. I have, this is what, another one that we did on the fabric. And I line it up. Okay, I like that. Mm -hmm. Like that a lot. I would like that in my canvas. Great. And I try to line it up. And I just squeeze it on through. Yeah. See? And then that's the empty side. And then all I would do is take my scissors. Remember, have an adult if they're sharp. A students. I hope you had a really fun time learning how you can make your very own artwork with nail polish and some water. Remember, it's a lot of creativity and a lot of imagination. But in case your maybe your parent doesn't want you to do this, that's okay. You can get a very similar effect by just taking some watercolor and dipping in the paint in the watercolor and splashing it on. Of course, you want to make sure the area is um, covered with newspaper or something so you're not getting paint everywhere but you can have the same similar effect by just splashing some paint onto paper or canvas or fabric whatever you have available a t-shirt would be perfect so don't be sad if you're if you maybe can't use the nail polish this is just an idea okay remember imagination and a lot of creativity all right guys till next time see you later bye